What is up, gang? We are back with another tier list, and this time around we are going to do a chicken wing tier list, and we can't lie to you all. We could not come up with a lot of wing places, so we are going to work with what we got, but I'm sure all of you in the comments can tell us what we should have added or where you personally would rank these things. Also, everyone, I just want to assure you all that I made sure that Barry did this tier list because even though I have the most refined palate out of everyone here, we all know why Barack is the chicken expert. Really now, tell us what exactly tipped you off on the fact that I love chicken. Well, uh, to put it quite simply, you told me one time. Yeah, I actually probably did, to be honest. And because of something else. What was that? Nothing at all. You guys are about to make me snooze. Can we please get on to our precious chicken wing tier list because I need to see my precious little Caesar's wings get the respect they finally deserve for being the most elite of the elite wings to ever be made in human existence, really. Let me just tell you right now, Joe, I would rather get JFK'd on national television in front of my whole family and loved ones than ever allow myself to place little Caesar's wings in S tier. Well, keep up this attitude and we might turn that into a reality. Is that a threat, Joey? It's not not a thread. It could merely be a goof and gaff. Or it could be the reason why you're six feet under Barack. Let's play our cards right. Joe, a threat from you is like having Lizzo say she can beat you in a race. If I'm being quite frank here, Joey, I am like in no way at all threatened by the likes of you, nor will I ever be for the entirety of my life. Yeah, I have to fully agree with Donald here, Joey. A threat from you is like someone pointing a bubble gun at me. Like, what are you going to do? Tickle me to death? Hey man, don't underestimate the power of tickling another grown man for so long that he either soils himself or he starts crying because he legitimately cannot breathe and has his life flash before his eyes and starts to wonder where it all went wrong. Like was it during his teenage years when he had an encounter with another male his own age and realized that he was indeed super straight? Was it when he kept getting high and kept buying OnlyFans content until eventually his credit card was maxed out and he had to explain why to his wife? Or was it when his son mugged him to buy cocaine and take a trip to Mexico like around three years back? That person who got tickled almost to death knows. That's who knows. Uh, that is a lot to unpack, and I am more than 500% sure that you are talking about yourself, Joe. But that is neither here nor there because we are not your therapist, so instead of trauma dumping all this knowledge of your personal life onto us, why don't you instead just get a session with your local therapist and talk it out? Anyways, that aside, let's finally please, for the love of all things holy, get to this list, and up first we got Papa John's Pizza, and their wings are pretty solid. Like, I know that isn't their main thing, so I give them more of a pass. But I personally think out of all the pizza joints that Papa John's has the best wings, and I believe it is deserving of a B tier, in all honesty. The Don is quite pleased with this rating. I always make sure to get some wings whenever I get pizza in general. And I have to agree that Papa John's has the best wings, but I don't think it's running away with the award, to be honest. I think at the end of the day, it's all on personal preference, unless you're talking about Little Caesar's wings. With that comment right there, you just got added to my list, buddy. Oh no, I got added to the big bad list. No one is scared of your stupid list, Joe. But anyways, up next we got Domino's, and I'm feeling, hmm, I think uh, another B is in order for this, because Domino's wings are not bad at all. And like Donald said, I love to get some wings alongside my pizza. But if I had to choose one, I'd still have Papa John's over Domino's. That's not a hot take at all. Yeah, but this next one might be a bit of a hot one because up next we got Applebee's and I just don't know, but their super cheap margaritas and their bottomless wings make me sick every time. Like, don't get me wrong, paying 13 bucks for all you can eat wings is a steal of a deal. And if you combine that with the $1 margaritas, well, uh, you got yourself quite the banger on your hands. Every time I've done this, though, I get super sick, but the actual flavor of the wings is not bad at all. Like, I can eat them. And if I get an unlimited amount, then who am I to complain about the quality of said wings? I just wonder what type of meat they're using to be able to accomplish such a deal. Like, what if I'm munching on some mystery meat? But either way, like I said, the price is worth the mystery meat, so I have to give it a solid C tier, I think. Like, I would rather have most other wings, but Jesus, man, if you have that bottomless wing deal going on, you just gotta try it once. It's like getting gas station taquitos, like it's so gross, but it's a yummy and deplorable type of gross. Oh, believe me, the Joe Dog knows about the yummy, gross stuff, except to someone like me, it's not gross at all. I'll eat all the bottomless wings I want, even if it's ostrich meat. 
Give me that with some foot-long glizzies from Sonic, and we are freaking set. That is absolutely atrocious, Joe. As for what you said, Barry, I can see the allure of bottomless wings, so I won't judge at all, especially for that freaking price. But I think Applebee's is a bit gross, like not even their food necessarily. But whenever you tell someone you're going to Applebee's, they give you a look, like a disgusted look, as if you told them you were about to go eat some resident evil ass food. But if you ask me, well, $1 margaritas and $13 bottomless wings is enough to merit an A tier. Yeah, but it's a limited time deal, so I can't really put that up higher than a C because on pure flavor alone, it belongs there. But anyways, up next, we got Buffalo Wild Wings, and I think an A tier is in order for this one. I appreciate the taste of their wings, and had I not have had the other wings on this tier list, it might have gotten an S tier from me. I used to love their traditional Tuesday deal and would order so many wings and beer during that time and just fill myself up. Their wings aren't gross, and they have a decent bit of variety when it comes to their flavors, so... I like this placement for them. I just like the fact I can eat and drink with the boys and also be able to catch a game on their TVs. If you ask me, I think they have too many freaking TVs in the building. Like, what the heck is up with that? Also, they only have sports and no freaking eSports. Joe, you're the only one who thinks that's a problem. But if it bothers you so much, why don't you go open your own restaurant? Anyways, up next, we got Popeyes, and I love their wings as well. I think this is not a surprise at all to anyone when I say Popeyes has good wings because they have amazing chicken in general. I'm gonna have this going into A tier alongside Buffalo Wild Wings. Doesn't surprise me that you of all people would have it so high considering you twerk for Popeyes in our other tier lists. Okay, I did twerk for Popeyes, don't get me wrong. But you're acting as if my butt was fluttering like a damn butterfly when I ranked this high. Like, goddamn, Donald, you do realize you made the other two chicken-related tier lists, right? Wait, I did? Looking like Joe there with the way you forget, but yeah. Anyways, we got our next entry, and that is Hooters. And I have them as our first S tier on this list. And before you and Joe say anything, I want to clarify that it is not because of the women, but rather because of the quality of their food. Nah, I'm going to keep it a buck with everyone and say that if Hooters did not have girls in those skimpy outfits, well, then I'd probably be eating wings from Little Caesars exclusively. On God, Joe, those Hooters girls really get it done, and that establishment more than deserves the S tier. Hell, I'd give it an S plus tier. Okay, that's enough, you two. I knew you guys were gonna take it there, but I actually just enjoy the flavor and texture of their actual wings and nothing more, but I guess to you two, that doesn't matter. Thankfully for our next entry, we have nothing that'll deter you from giving it an actual ranking based on the food, because Wingstop, has nothing else going on. They give out some food and that's it. No need for all the extra stuff. And honestly, I love them for it. I am giving Wingstop a solid S tier as well because their quality in wings are unmatched. I will actually twerk for some voodoo fries too. Like they are so freaking spicy, but it is so worth. And the spicy Korean Q is the best possible flavor for a sauce that I can ever imagine. Like it is my go-to sauce whenever I got to Wingstop. Wingstop is all right, but it has no chicks and skimpy little outfits. For once, I have to agree with Joe. Yeah, it's a true S tier in my eyes and is my favorite out of the whole list. The comment section can fight me on it, but I am a Wingstop ride or die. But anyways, up next we got another pizza joint and that is Pizza Hut. Actually, our last two are pizza places, but we all know where Little Caesars is going. Straight to S tier. Yeah, uh, we'll see. But anyways, the rating I'll give Pizza Hut will probably be another B tier. Like, I have no hate for these pizza places and genuinely like their wings a decent bit. As long as they aren't shitty booty places like Little Caesars, then we will be set. Super funny, Barack, but get to the S tier for Little Caesars, please. Joe, I'm not really that sorry, but for our last place, we have Little Caesars. And much like I have alluded to this whole time, I will not be placing this that high. Fine, I guess I can live with an A tier rating. I will be placing Little Caesars pizza into D tier for their terrible, terrible wings that have a worse texture than the McRib and just feel like they've been doused in Frank's red hot sauce. Ooh, that is rough for Joey, but Barack has a point here. I don't think I have ever had worse wings than whatever monstrosity comes out of Little Caesar's wing making process. I'd rather lick some boots or chew on rocks covered in Frank's red hot than ever eat another Little Caesar's wing again in my whole entire life. And Joey, you know that when I say something, you know it has to be bad. See, Joey, 
it's uh, not just me, and I'm sure that everyone in the comments is going to agree as well. Please just open your eyes to the truth. Oh, I'll open my eyes, all right. You guys better skedaddle. <laughs>